Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. One love, Delta 9 family. Welcome back to the flight. So we have some news, great news for the Guyana education system. Great news for everyone that was affected by the teacher's strike. Great news for every single person that's in school right now. Guess what? The strike is over. The teacher's strike is over. And Mark Light is presenting here today. He is ready to tell us everything that's going on presently right now with the strike as this news is breaking. He's ready to tell us that, look, it's not the same agreement from before and a lot more details. We're going to get right into the content, right into the content and let Mark tell you for himself. If you haven't already, if you have not hit that thumbs up button thumbs up this video and send it out in the algorithm thumbs up this video so that everybody could know guess what guyana teacher strike is over the teacher strike is over thumbs up the content thumbs up the content and let everybody know the teacher strike is over and this is what mark got to say about it right now pleasant good afternoon to you i'm here to make a very short statement and uh, to provide an update to the membership of the GTU. Uh, first of all, let me say that this has been a very difficult time for all of us, not only the executives of the union, but a difficult time for teachers and educators across Guyana. So when no one else stood, any other Union stood for workers like we did resolutely um, over the last 70 odd days. I must, I must say um, thanks to all the teachers, all the educators who stood their ground. This is an ongoing struggle. Um, the decision to have the agreement signed um, as we did today was taken through country, fresh countrywide um, consultation. I figure that some persons did not participate in those consultations, hence you are not able to share your views. But the consensus of those consultations um, rests on the fact that most teachers that spoke from the county of Barbies, the county of Esequibo and the county of Demerara indicated clearly that the best option at this juncture was for us to return to work and allow for the grievance procedure to take precedent. Hence you see number eight clearly inked that the union will allow the grievance procedure as signed in 1990 to, to, to be the basis of our negotiations going forward. And so on Wednesday the 26th, on Wednesday the 26th, will be the first set of engagements um, coming out of these discussions. We will meet with the ministry uh, to commence the process of conciliation on Wednesday. So against all of those persons who are saying that all is lost, what did we get? You know, there's a process. And the union, having had the experience of uh, the, the 6th of March and the, the 7th of March and the 12th of March would have tried its best to have included in our terms of resumption interim payment or cash grant. The government clearly declared and said it very clearly that that is not part of a multi-year agreement that is not that is not sorry that, that is not part of the conciliation or the preterm process we tried to push that it did not work and so as a union we took a decision in the interest of our teachers who are concerned about 
what would happen for the August storm, who are concerned about what would happen in other as facets of their lives. So this agreement was inked. This agreement was inked, not with a sense to, um, even though we wanted to see teachers return with something in their pockets ahead of the negotiations. And what, what we were asking for an interim payment ahead of the negotiation. And so that did not come true. So we agreed on the normal terms of resumption and hold both parties bound by the um, 1990 grievance procedure. Mind you, all the time that we were back and forth not agreeing on terms of resumption, the conciliation process hasn't started. Had the conciliation process started already, we would have gone way past this process. And the union's leadership, having listened to the membership across Guyana, having listened to the membership across Guyana, right, recognize that more teachers were in favor of returning. And so this was not an executive decision. This was a decision taken after those consultations with the wider membership. And I figured that, like I said, some people missed it. So let me just say to you, I'm unable to read the comments because I'm sitting here. I'm not driving, so don't be worried. I'm not driving. Um, teachers are expected to return by Wednesday, by Tuesday. Um, that is two working days. So Monday would be one working day. Tuesday would be another working day. So teachers are expected to return within those two days. On Wednesday, the union commences the conciliation. Now, if you don't return within those two days, the conciliation cannot start. And the earlier the conciliation starts, the better it is for our teachers who have suffered, have gone through a lot of mental health issues, and the union is cognizant of that. So I just want to be on record as saying, we cannot say at this juncture, we're going back without anything. The union has inked a very thoughtful, um, a very thoughtful um, terms of resumption, which binds both parties to the agreement that was signed in 1990. So as early as Wednesday of next week, the two parties will meet for the commencement of conciliation, which could not have started all along. So we could not have applied that process. All right. So thank you everyone for your support. I think um, while we speak, a lot of teachers went back even long before we, we arrive at this position. And the, the union was cognizant of what was happening. Teachers were becoming fearful. They were becoming mentally affected. Um, the children were affected. Many teachers were saying, oh, we're going back for the children. So all of that we had to contend with. And I think when, when we listened to the views of the members who attended those countrywide consultations, as recent as, as um, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, we, we had those, Tuesday, we had those consultations um, with the wider membership. It proved that the teachers were saying to the leadership of the GTU, we have to end this strike. Let us get the conciliation process started so that we can hold the powers that be accountable by an agreement that is that was signed by both representatives of both parties. So I just thought that um, I need to share that. It, hasn't be, it has been a very tough period for all the executives of the GTU. Going to those meetings and having no outcome was really frustrating. Um, to be bashed in the social media, to be called these different names, even by our own members. Um, it wasn't an easy thing for leadership and our families. And we, we are, yes, teachers were in favor of returning. Um, we, we recognize, we recognize also, and some of you are saying go back last week. We had already telegraphed going back last week. The government could have closed school at any time. So we had to find a way 
to mitigate against what was was eminent the government could come out tomorrow or tonight and say school closed with effect from today so i want to say folks that i know it is difficult for all of us and you are looking to see an interim payout or a cash grant included in in the um, the terms of resumption we tried that vehemently for several weeks it did not work we went back to the membership we stated the position and we were given a mandate by those i would not say it's the same as the last time and it's not the same arrangement as the last time if you can pull up the last agreement of the terms of resumption and this one it's it's vastly different so let's go back and do our due diligence and let us support the process um again on behalf of the executives of the GTU, thank you very much for your uh, your support, and we look forward to GTU remaining the strongest and most viable union in Guyana. God bless you, and let's see what happens with the process. Thank you. One hundred percent wild crafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? Remember, tell y'all that Mark Richmond called me. This is the printout, right? This is the printout. Y'all okay? This is the printout for me phone. 